Extreme decluttering ahead. Today we are minimizing the clutter in my room by using space saving hacks. My room and closet has always been cluttered because I have so many things and it's hard to choose what to wear. But if it was more organized and not so cluttered, maybe I could see why I have more and make it easier for me to choose what to wear. So come along and declutter my room with me. Now I'm going to be maximizing my closet space with some hangers I got recently. Now there's an elephant in the room. I got this screen door up on my closet. As you know, I have a cat and he gets in my closet. So when I'm not looking in my closet, it's zipped up, of course. Originally, I had the pink tank tops on this hanger, but it literally gets stuck with the other hangers and other clothes because of the way it's designed. So we'll see if the other one I have will work. This one gets its own special hanger. Next I tried this five loops hanger. At first it was tricky, but eventually I got the hang of it. Let's pause here for a minute. I almost forgot I should probably put my winter clothes up in my new storage box before we continue. I decided to go with my gray one because that should fit under my bed. Baby, I can't put you in storage. Come on. I didn't realize how much winter and fall clothes I had. I was hoping it would all fit, and it just barely did. So that's all my winter clothes and some fall clothes, which I'll take out when it's fall. And I just realized I did put some of my cardigans in there, but I really need to get some lightweight, breathable cardigans for this summer because it's just too hot to have like the knit kind. Yeah, so these are all the crop tops that are short sleeves. So I don't know if there might be some in the wash. So far, I do really love the black ones. Yeah, so I don't think I'm gonna put them on the dresses because those are long. These are already being too long. They're like hitting my stuff that's in the closet. So that being said, I gotta think about that. Depending on the length and this, these are crops. So it's probably longer with regular shirts. Yeah, I, I feel like this one is not going to work for my closet because it does hang them low. Sh these are like short sleeve and sleeveless button ups. Only three I have. Pretty, right? Again, these are my rest of my t-shirts. I would say at least maximum three shirts because it's too long and I'm not going to fit my storage in my closet. So I'm just gonna go do the rest and I'll show you the result. All right, so the rest, I was gonna, I was trying to do all like the tank tops, but didn't. But I definitely wanna get more of those white ones. If you compare it, here, I gotta put it by side by side. They're about the same length, but this one carries more. This is three tank tops and that's four. I feel like this one will definitely work better if we're gonna make outfits with it. Like I did it with by color or style. I like the black ones too, so that's definitely a contender. Definitely wanna get more of both of these hangers or whatever hanger helpers. I wanna mention this one isn't bad. It didn't work out for my area over here. It does come with too many holes. Technically, I don't have to use them. So I'm gonna find use for it somewhere else, of course. It doesn't have to be close. This hook doesn't move. It's like, it grabs onto it. I mean, that's good if you don't want it to move. <laughs> Ideally, for a regular closet, we wanna be able to move things around. Remember the test out to see how much room I had before? But now I have that much room, more clothes, or just at least move to get into my closet. Moving on to the cubby holes. We gotta get the skirts out of here because they're going somewhere else. See how wrinkled the skirts are? They should be hung up. 
Now finally, the activewear will have its own section, excluding leggings. Sports tops, sports tank tops, shorts, padded sports bras, and unpadded sports bras. So I have a crazy idea. I felt like the stuffed animals in the top of my closet was taking up a lot of space. I plan to move them somewhere else. You'll see. And then there was one more stuffed bear. It terrified me, I tell you. It was so creepy, like it was looking into my soul. It gave me chills. I thought there was something on there. It says it's a poker good luck charm for adults, but I felt like it was demonic, so I don't think I'll keep it. <laughs> I kept my breakable piggy banks up there, and later I added my vases and whatever room I had left, some storage and other things I plan on selling one day. Moving on to this corner where I plan to put up my accessories. Let's be honest, it got cluttered real quick. Let's fix it. First, let me move everything out of the way. So I found this old table in the garage and it's a little beat up so I covered it with a sheet. For now, I was thinking of putting Reese's water fountain and food bowl on it so it wouldn't be on the floor. And also I could put his stuff under the table. Reese loves it already, but I soon to realize it's not so sturdy and especially with the sheet being slippery. I would need another cover. So scratch that idea, let's move my dresser. It's so old, I had it since middle school. <laughs> I know, I really need another one because the last drawer on it broke. Alrighty, as always, nothing is as planned. <laughs> So we're gonna see if it fits this table. Okay, it does fit. The sheet I have on it is gonna be temporarily. Reese loves this table so much. He's laying. He thinks it's his table. For now, I'm gonna put the accessories on this table. Now I put Reese's water and football on the dresser. <laughs> what do you think, honey? What if we put one of his beds there? What do you think you're better right here? You were just laying on the floor. Why not in your pet bed? No? Just want to lay on the floor. Never mind, I can't put the bed here because when he was trying to eat, he was sitting on this table. <laughs> and my stuff is going to be there. So we're going to have to move this so he has room eating his food. So I have a pink hammock to put up. I probably should have put it up before I put the table there, but it's okay. I can just move it to the side. There were some spiders I had to kill before I put the hammock up. <laughs> here we go again. <laughs> Next, I had to put the screws and hooks in the wall. The tricky part was finding the right spot for it to be balanced, not too low or too high. So after all that chaos, I finally got it up. It's cute and looks cool with my lights. They're not perfect, my LED lights. Those I got years ago from Amazon. But this, I think it's gonna be perfect because I had to have enough room to fit the stuffed animals. I'm just a little worried about Reese. Now, is he gonna try to jump in there? Hope not. <laughs> we'll see. So let me start with the big stuffed animals. I would think so I'll be able to see the small animals. It's not very sturdy, but that could be a user error course. <laughs> So I screwed it up higher, more to the right. See if that helps. I feel like it does need to be higher. Okay, I feel like it's working better now. And in that moment, I didn't realize how bad it was. I got my shorts wet from Reese's water. So don't laugh, okay? I said don't laugh. So I think that was all like the bigger stuffed animals. Okay, well, actually, 
here's this one. But this one spooked me out. <laughs> so I'm not gonna keep it. I really don't know what to do with it. Just not gonna keep it in my room. <laughs> We're missing one more. Just kidding. I don't want to actually put him up there because he might think he can go up there. Yeah, uh, I think it works well. Once I figure out where to place it, where it's sturdy enough, and I'll try to get it where I can actually see the animals, each one. I try to put them next to each other that I can have a similar memory, the person that gave it to me, and I, mean, I didn't put all the pics together, but it, they're all up there. I do have more stuffed animals in the garage, but I just don't have enough room to keep them all in here. These are just the ones that mean the most to me. Now let's do the clothes rack. Originally, it was for when I film videos of clothes, but I just felt like that's just taking up room. You know, I'm gonna take advantage of actually using it, you know, to store my clothes. And I got this hanger recently. You might have seen my team in video. And I was thinking of doing leggings. I had an idea with skirts, but I just feel like this clasp is not good for a skirt. So let's see if it works for leggings. Yeah, I would recommend probably balance it out first. <laughs> I filled them both up. I was trying to do like one workout and one casual, but I did run out of room for the workout leggings. It's just mixed, so it's not really by the kind of leggings. But I really wish I had another one because I still have more leggings to hang. One more would have been perfect because I don't have to put my biker shorts up there. I could have put it with like the workout shorts. I really do like it because you can clearly see all the leggings. Before it was so cluttered, I couldn't, I had to dig to find a pair of leggings I want. Sometimes I don't even remember they're there. So now I can see it better. Next, I'm gonna put up my purses with this purse holder. It holds, I believe like 12. I probably have more than 12 purses but we shall see. <laughs> Should probably start from the bottom. It does drag on the floor. And I don't think I have that short of a purse right here. So, um, hmm. Either I just have to let it sit on the floor. <laughs> It's not gonna fit all my purses. I might just put them on a regular hanger. It doesn't work really well with long purses cause it's gonna drag on the floor a little bit, but it's okay cause I have a little cover to put on later. Maybe in a regular closet it would work better cause it's probably higher where you hang it. But at least it's not in that basket anymore. Cause I had to put it in a basket cause remember it fell down when I had it hung on the wall. So <laughs> this is a better solution. The next thing I got to put on my clothes rack is this belt hanger. And if you notice, my mic is blinking. Apparently that means my mic died. I didn't know that. It's the first time it died. So I had a voice over the rest of this section. I saw this on Timu and I thought I should give it a try. So instead of the belts being hung up on the wall, how about on my clothes rack? I did get rid of some that I will never wear. It only fits 10 belts on it. It doesn't really take up much space and I really like it. I don't wear my belts often, but when I do, I can easily see what I have now. Since I have more room, I'm gonna put up the rest of my leggings on my velvet pants hanger I have. And then the skirts. I have lots of more of those pants hangers. I did do them by section, like the denim skirts, pencil skirts, flared skirts, and long skirts. Then I had an idea to put my backpack and the rest of the purses at the bottom of the clothes rack. Then lastly, I had to get this clothes rack a protective cover. Because Reese, well, you see, he will play with things randomly, so to avoid that, I put this on.
All right, now I do have another storage box and it's pink. I already put up my winter clothes in the other. So I was thinking of clothes I'm selling. So it'll be easier to get out and find when I do sell something. Of course, that's not all that I'm selling. That's just the recent clothes. I do have another basket with clothes I need to take pictures of and lists. Okay, hear me out. <laughs> I took away the shelves I had here because I got a new thing to organize my makeup and skincare. But we gotta move everything out of the way first. There she is. This video isn't sponsored by Timu, but I chose to get this because I felt like my dresser really needed it. I had those shelves since middle school, so yeah, I deserve it. And my birthday's next month. Anyways, I'm organizing it now, and a real reason I wanted to get this was to store my makeup brushes so they won't get any lint or even cat hair on it. And also I put my face mask and cleanser in there. Oh yeah, you guys get to see a little behind the scenes of me recording a YouTube short. In the third drawer, I put my eyeliners and later I do put my mascara. And in the second drawer, I put my sponges. I actually had to get rid of two of my small makeup containers I had to make room for everything on my dresser. I really love how it turned out. It made it less cluttered and easier to find things. It's just some things I didn't have room for and I'm gonna have to organize that in another video, AKA hair products, which I had here before. I just need more room, okay? I almost forgot, but I put my makeup headbands on the wall above it. I'm so excited because I had no spot for it before, but now I do. So pretty and put together. Now that my ladies are no longer on this shelf, I can declutter my jeans because I have so many kinds. So I did section it out. The top shelf is flared, straight jeans, and also color jeans. And then the second shelf is all skinny jeans. <laughs> I did move my sweatpants to the third shelf and then kept the fourth shelf the same with denim shorts. I mean, I do eventually plan on getting a real desk or table. Reese likes it. It's so wobbly and definitely for sure he's gonna knock it down then. Okay, I moved it over here and <laughs> He jumped on top of it. No. So I guess that's not a great spot for it. Okay, so most of the stuff over here is pretty organized in their bins. But I got this guy. Now, not everything will be able to hang on this. I still gotta put it together. Okay, there's a lot, guys. Um, I don't think I'm gonna put them all on, but yeah, let's see where I wanna put it. I think that's good for right now. We're gonna put up the hair ties now. A lot of pink hair ties. <laughs> See if you put a hair clip on it. I mean, you could. Maybe. Wait. I'm running out, so I'm probably not gonna do the little hair ties like that. I went a little crazy. I went a little creative too by adding the hair clips on the side. Anything I can stick on there, even the bows. I tried to do it by color and then the headbands, the bottom, because they're long. I didn't end up doing the thick headbands because they're gonna take up a lot of room and I wanna have more extra uh, hanging thing hooks. But mainly it's the scrunchies, most of the claw clips and a few bows and uh, headbands. I have these so I can hang up the jewelry. Hope it's not crooked. Yeah, once you put it down, you don't want to take it off because it's going to take the um, paint off. This one's rings. I, never, I don't wear much rings. 
not perfect, but it'll do. It's not coming off that wall, that's all I know. I'm not gonna use these yet because I'm not sure what to use them for yet. And once you stick them on, you can't get them off. So now for the drooly part. I don't know if I wanna do it all today because look at this mess. This is the reason why I need to get something like this because I used to have the necklaces on this. Who thought it was a good idea? It just gets tangled. So, oh, sorry. We'll try to get as much as we can off. Yeah, I better go. Yeah, this one, we is so tangled right now. Can't do that right now. Let's try something a little bit easier. So lastly, the earrings over here. I wonder if we can put up studs. We can, it's just you have to have the back. And I don't have the back for all of them. So I'm just gonna do a few. I forgot about the bracelets. A few more things we can add. Whew. I'm thinking I'm done for today. <laughs> it's not what I imagined, but much more organized. I can see what I have and I can literally pick out like by color or what I think would match the outfit with the jewelry. And then we got all the other stuff I can go through because it's all in the same area. So don't have to be digging through too much. Here's my room decluttered for the most part. Using these space saving hacks, it's never been this decluttered before. And now I am able to see why I have more. I hope this video inspired you to maximize your own room. Check out my previous organization videos here. You may see my hair orange right now. I'm actually coloring it tomorrow. I forgot to do an outro for this video. So it's not staying this color as much as I would love it to. Like the video and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.